to be You say nothing at all when we meet Yet somehow I know your history Um, we are in Seoul Soup on an incredibly snowy morning. Um, it snowed all of last night and so there's probably like an inch and a half out here. It is obviously stunning, incredible, and I don't have the proper shoes for this but I'm not letting that stop me. Um, it's just absolutely stunning. We're gonna walk around here for a little bit. We're gonna find a couple cafes and then we're also gonna go over to Olympic Park. I'm gonna do as much outdoor stuff in this beautiful weather as possible today. Let's keep wandering around. friends the snow has um, become chunkier and more frequent however I'm at Olympic Stadium it's kind of surreal to be here as an army as a big k-pop band it's kind of wild but it's beautiful it's so pretty wow this is so fun it took a while to get over here because I took the wrong train but and literally all I wanted to do was see it with my own eyes and so now we're gonna go to Olympic Park <laughs> but it was easy because the line to get to Olympic Park is the same as to get to here so a cute little stop and seriously look at the snow it's so pretty
is Rosie. But we are in Olympic Park and it's almost rush hour so we've been walking around but we're gonna head back soon and the snow is already starting to stop so we're gonna head back. Welcome back to the shenanigans. Today we are going to try to go to Imjingang Park, which is a peace park that sits right on the DMZ. I'm really excited to check it out. I'm not going to be doing the whole in-depth go into the tunnels thing. But I really just want to see the park and there's a cafe there that I really want to check out. Cross your fingers because you can get there by public transportation, but the public transportation does not seem to be running very frequently. However, I know that you can get there and so we're gonna try our best to get there in one piece and get back in one piece. It's two trains and one bus from where I am right now. And so, yeah, let's go check out the park. Just tell me I belong That I'm the lucky one I'm your chosen one Okay, I'm at the point now where all I can do is laugh. That bus took me almost all the way and so now I have a 20 minute walk to the park. <laughs> Look where I am. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Um, sorry mom, I don't know where the f I am. This is such a crazy, crazy adventure. I know where I need to go. It's 20 minutes that way. So I guess there's no stopping now. I've got to get there at least. Oh man. Also, it's situations like these where your traveling instinct or like your fight or flight mode really kick in because I don't have a second option than to get to the Peace Park at this point. We'll get there. Um, it's only like 10 minutes from now, but like, this is my dirt path. So I did not expect this today, but here we are. Okay, we found civilization. We found Injingang Station. Injingang Park is right ahead of us. Crisis averted. I'm the lucky one. I'm your chosen one. frames lavender pain. They all live here. In this room as I get the chance to stop the run and be the lucky one. gondola in the DMZ. <laughs> I didn't plan this. They're super strict with no um, filming and or photos in some areas. So we're gonna see how much I can actually film. If I wrote you a song, if I got Christmas music. 
for starters. But we're on our way back over. I don't really have words. It's very strange. Very, very strange. guys I'm at Imjinga station I'm the only one here the train comes in roughly 10 minutes hopefully it shows up um, I don't know how people have done this easier without driving if you have a car I'm sure it's super easy but if you don't have a car I don't know how this works once we get to Munsan we'll be fine but we just have to get to Munsan so hopefully this train comes in roughly 10 minutes um say a prayer because i look disheveled i'm tired i need to get back to seoul <laughs> What a day. I'm back now for the night. It's like almost 10 o'clock. Today I think was the craziest mental day. Obviously since I've been in Korea, but in a long while. I just haven't felt the way that I felt today many other times in my life. As you saw from the get-go, um, I was nervous about getting to the DMZ because I have heard not great things and Neighbor Maps was being kind of all over the place. Um, it wasn't giving me ETAs for buses, it wasn't giving me ETAs for trains. I didn't really know how else to get around and figure that out. So I knew that it was possible and I knew that people did it. I just wasn't entirely sure how. To getting to Munsan from Seoul is not the issue. It's getting then to Imjinggang, the park, that became an issue. So I got on the bus, right, and we it was a town bus, so for starters, you guys, we were in the middle of... I don't know where we were. We were in the middle of nowhere. The bus was worse than, like, a Malkong bus. Obviously, I live in Taipei, right? And I've been on tiny buses that go really fast, like, all over, do-do-do, shaking, whatever, crazy buses. This was next level. I was looking at the map of the bus route and I was making sure that we were following it because the minute that we weren't following it right I needed to jump off and find a different option. We followed it until almost all the way to the park and then the bus driver pulls in reverse and he turns back to me and there's like two or three ajushi ajuma hanging out and he's like I'm like ne I'm he's like get off here and walk and I'm like okay so I get off 
And as you saw, I was like in a field. So then I walked 20 minutes roughly to Imjingang Park. So the cafe that I went to is called 4B. They make bagels as well. And they have a bunch of different locations across Seoul. And then it was peaceful for a while. I was able to hang out in 4B, drink a latte, read, and just look over the DMZ. It's a very surreal experience. As an American, I cannot imagine what it's like if you're Korean and like, especially if you have ties to North Korea, like familial ties. I don't know how you do that because I had a very heavy heart around the whole day. My undergrad degree was in Asia Pacific studies, politics essentially, and Mandarin Chinese. Walking through the park and walking through the exhibits and then just seeing the DMZ and then, spoiler, going into the DMZ, which was not my original plan, and then seeing North Korea with my own eyes was like very surreal. I cannot describe this as well now as I'm talking about it, but the minute I was on the gondola going over the river, I felt a pit in my stomach and like I had this physical reaction. Not a good feeling, that's for sure. Yeah, I just had this pit in my stomach where I was like, this place is not, like I don't feel good being here. But it was necessary because it made the whole experience that much more impactful. We got to the actual park and they have pinwheels and like there were children playing and there were people flying kites. But there's also a memorial for um, the American lives that were lost during the Korean War. I'm kind of speechless. The worst part was getting there and getting back. So as you saw, getting there was a hassle and then getting back was a hassle because there was no one around. See, this is what boggles my mind. This has happened to me in Taiwan when we traveled to Kenting. Um, this has happened when I went to Kaohsiung with a friend once. There are not a lot of people traveling, just in general. And I wonder if that's still because of COVID, the weather. It is winter here. It is cold. This makes sense to me. But to have nobody else, like going, especially going there, no other people going to the DMZ on the two or three buses that actually run. The only two other ways I can imagine people doing this successfully are one, you book a tour group, which is expensive. And then you have to follow, like you have to go with the group. And I get that. I'm just not a huge fan of going with organized tour groups. And I know that if you wanted to go into the tunnels and like into the DMZ, th that's like the only way you can do it. But otherwise then, drive yourself. That's the only other way I can think of it because there's so much parking, but like taking public transportation, again, I think it's just a com- it has to be a combination of winter and COVID, but so few other people are clearly traveling because I'm not- there's no way I'm like the only person doing this. Once you got to the park, the park was beautiful. It had a lot of information. They were very strict on photography, so I got minimal footage as you can tell. But then once I got back to Seoul, um, I met up with my friends and we went to Korean barbecue, which was super fun. Um, I've been waiting to officially do Korean barbecue because when out, like when in Rome, right? You kind of have to do it, but it's also not a solo activity. Um, you would need multiple people. And so I went with a couple of my friends. Home day is like the place to hang out on Saturday night. So that was really cool to see. It was so lively. There were dance groups and people doing dance covers, um, like BTS dance coverage, which was so fun to see. Yeah, that was kind of the day. I'm gonna try to link as much information as I can about pulling this off and doing better than I did when it comes to going to the DMZ. I genuinely wish you better luck than myself, um, but it made for a really cool adventure and I can still say that I did it and I survived and it makes for a really funny story, if nothing else. I will leave you guys here 
Thanks for watching. It was a stressful one, but we made it through. Like, comment, subscribe, do all of the fun things, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!